Riyadh. 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 Fuck yeah. Magic from the yard and we put our voices over it. Riyadh. Fuck yeah. Some of the Gia, but most of it shit, yeah. All the pros claim train is vital, but you don't care cause you won the title. Riyadh. Fuck yeah. Spend your whole paycheck on fancy ring, get Riyadh. Fuck yeah. Stains on your clothes and you smell like dog shit. They say don't try this at home, but you're gonna do it anyway. Fuck yeah. Steel chest, fuck yeah. Plywood tables, fuck yeah. Cheese graters, fuck yeah. Ladders, fuck yeah. Thumbtacks, fuck yeah. Candlesticks, fuck yeah. VHS, fuck yeah. Jumping off shit, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Edwardsville, Illinois at the KC Hall for Cottage Hills Wrestling Alliance. I'm Catch Lavender behind the desk and Jenna Tonic is making her way down to the ring. Very confident young lady coming in here of the Heartbreak Division. The Heartbreak Division is the women's division in CHWA. Jenna Tonic asking for the respect of the 18 in attendance. Well, I could be wrong, it could be a good 22 talking us out here. Casey Hall has a capacity of 500 to 700, but CHWA, they decided to keep it more intimate in a, uh, in a light crowd. But I'd like to use this downtime to talk about the gent. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, anchor.fm, the main platform for the podcast whenever episodes do come, come about. It uh, disperses everywhere you find your podcast. But that podcast, it doesn't matter right now because Trinity is on her way to the ring to face off against Gin and Tonic. Looking like a fan favorite here. Saying hello to all the fans here, Gin and Tonic. Very confident in the ring right now. All right, it's down to business for Trinity. Here we go. Oh, nice little synchronization there for Trinity with the music. All right, these ladies. Stepping forward, ref checking, bell has rung. Here we go. I am excited. I hope you are too. Whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's take a look back at this. I may be excited. These fans in attendance may be excited. But one person that is not is the ref. Yep, he's out. He passed out. I don't know if that's narcolepsy or he's just at the onset of this match. Ugh, I have to go through this. And then the lockup. Oh, and the ref is awake. Here we go. All right, so you got to think about this. These ladies, they're used to being in the backyard, but they have this venue here, and the last thing they want to do is screw anything up. Oh, no. This is a nightmare. Oh, unfortunate tumble there. I don't know if Trini just went the wrong way or she was going for an attack, but uh, matchup continues. Picking her up by the wrist there. Genitonic. Oh, kick to the vagina. That was right in the front butt. Here we go. The action is picking up right here. Sway two and four from the roast clothesline. I think that was. Genitonic mounting Trinity. Calm down out there. Oh, Trinity takes it back. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. A flurry. A flurry of shots here. Let's take a look at these. Well, I mean, you got to think about the air coming off of those hits. It, it could dry out the eyeballs of Genitonic. And uh, we, we, she could be in trouble here. My goodness. And the matchup continues right here. And Genitonic back in here. Back with butt crack. Picture up. Remember, folks, you control the wrist. You control the body. And Genitonic sent him for a move here. Oh, my goodness. What was that? Unorthodox pinfall right here. Looks like carrying a drunk friend across the ice. Slip. Oh, <laughs> Genitonic definitely. Oh, excuse me. Trinity got the worst of that one. All right. Back into the corner for Trinity right there. Oh, barely. In the nick of time, Trinity gets out of that. Takes back control. Double knees, I, I think that. I don't know if she got all of that. Bulldog or maybe a nap for Genitonic. Here we go, going to the pin. One note oh, near fall. Great ring awareness by Jenna Tonic. Let's take a look at this again. Back in the corner, Trinity. And no, she didn't get all those knees. Didn't even connect. Here we go. And a, yep, that was a nap. 
for gin and tonic right there. She's gonna take. She's gonna look. Bathroom lights off, and she's out. Yep. And the matchup continues. Both women. Squaring back up. Trinity got control of the arm. Taking it behind. Jenna Tonic here. Swinging it back in here. Oh, maybe a headlock. No, maybe a, a sleeper hold. A, a, a choke hold or something. But. Go! Oh, Jenna Tonic with an elbow right there. I've seen this once or twice before. Let's. Come on. Let's look at this here. That's holding your drunk friend back. After a good night out. I can fight her. Let me go. I can do it. And no, uh, no, you got to go home. Boom. And then she turns on you. You cannot trust all of your drunk friends. Trinity reeling from that elbow in the midsection. Oh, look at Jenna Talk with a yoga stretch almost. But no, it pushes Trinity to the ropes. That could have been a submission right there. I, I honestly don't know what that was. Trinity... Back into a corner. No, she's playing possum. Grabs her. Oh, she spikes Genetonic to the ring. My goodness. Control the wrist. You control the body. It's been the theme of this matchup. The strength shown by Trinity here. Holding, holding, and oh, wait a minute. That's Lazara, another another individual of the oh <laughs> of the heartbreak division, but she's not lasting long as Genetonic. Attacking her right out of the gate. You're not going to come in here and ruin this stellar matchup. And she already did as Trinity has won by disqualification. And oh, no. Oh, no. That looks like the face of somebody who just shit themselves. Yep. That's exactly what happened. Poor Lazara. She had to go check this after this attack here. And she's stumbling back to her feet. This matchup is unfortunately over. Ruined by Lazara. Trinity wins by disqualification. Of course, look at it. Lazara just happy to be here. Trinity, the referee, exiting the ring at this time. Very smart choice. These women, however, staying behind. And they are exchanging words right here. I think I heard Genetonic say, there was no heartbreak division without me. And, well, you should have just stayed behind because we didn't need to see this. <laughs> but these ladies, happy to be here still, Lazara. Oh, wait a minute. There's that maneuver again. Oh, I don't know how she's tripping or bringing her back with the, her leg in front of Lazara's leg, but very talented individual, that Genetonic. No, oh, right there. Gosh, that's going to separate his shoulder. Or no, oh, look at that. Genetonic's son asking, when's dad going to get here? I'm ready to go. Lazara's still just happy to be here. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me here in Cottage Hills, Illinois. We will be right back. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are here at UBW Military Madness. Catch Levender behind the desk as always. And, well, we are here. <laughs> and Living Dead Girl is making her way down to the ring. Yet another women's division matchup. To keep theme here on Riyarda, the women's retrograde, if you will. We're working backwards here. Because what you see today is nothing compared to what this is, whatever this is, on this episode. Living Dead Girl awaiting her opponent in the ring. And uh, just to want to say this, I know I plug the gent usually on these pauses here. Great little entrance set up right here for UBW. But if you ever like to call a match with with myself and, you know, let's make something happen. Oh, here she comes, Christy Lynn. Another unique looking individual. Both these ladies have quite the unique look to themselves. This one though, Chrissy Lynn, she's all business coming down to the ring. But again, if you'd like to ever call a match up here on Briarded with me, it'd be uh, great to have you here alongside and we can just uh, have some fun with this. Oh, look at this casual appearance there by the announcer, flip flops t-shirt. We're gonna avoid replays on this one, folks, to stay with the action all throughout because I expect nothing but a hard hitting just hard hitting matchup and oh there here we go oh no dead girl almost germaphobic doesn't want to be touched by Christy Lynn again circling around here again I'm expecting just a hard hitting matchup oh here we go oh no again maybe mind games being played by living dead girl maybe it's uh, quite the frustration for christy lynn here this avril levine reject if you will and oh, here we go no oh, oh come up 
frustration being shown there by Christy Lynn. And Living Dead Girl still has yet to lock up to get this matchup underway. Again, oh, wait a minute. It looks like Christy Lynn, she may be distracted by something, someone coming down to the ring here. And, oh, that's Clone's Clone, the baby daddy of Christy Lynn. What's he doing here, though? Oh, it's obvious. Here we... Wait a minute. You're not getting the child support this week. That's what he's saying. Oh, drops her neck right over the top rope. Unbelievable. And he's just... As quick as, as, quick as he was here, he is gone. Living Dead Girl takes the advantage. Titty pull! Titty pull! Titty pull! Hashtag titty pull. Get that trending whenever you share this. And this could be over. One, two, three... Living Dead Girl picks up the victory without doing a thing. Didn't break a sweat. Uh, that was awful. Thank you for joining me here on Reyarded, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, catch Loving to Hear behind the desk as always. And Reyarded, it's the show where anyone with a wrestling ring can call themselves a wrestler. <laughs>